Hello everyone, it's Miss Brick Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and our third part of our a Pico first look. Um, all I did from the last episode was take a little nappy nap on the bench until the bees got back up so they can get to work. So last episode we learned how to oh let's see if we we got our thing here, but we learned how to uncap these um wooden frames. But now we're waiting to be able to extract the honey, which is the next thing in the book. But let's check this first to see if we got the bee we needed. We did not. Okay. Y'all. Forest B. This is hard. This is hard. Let's grab that. We're going to have to make another one. Oh, here we go. Another chance. Nope. We got two forest bees. Okay. Um, We're not having luck here, y'all. <laughs> and here's another one. All right. Let's get to the book. And learn how to extract the stag on honey. With your uncapped frames, you can now spin them senseless in an extractor and shake them down for every last drop of honey. You need to put uncapped frames in the left input slot. Once you do, you'll see another handle appear. This time, you need to pull down the handle to start spinning the extractor. The faster it spins, the quicker it will process your frames. When the frame is spun completely, you'll get the whole bunch of items based on the species of the bee as well as honey. Finally, right? Yeah. So we need um, five beeswax. Okay. So let's see what we need to do um, to make the extractor. Extractor, here we go. Glue, ooh. We need to make glue. So we can make 10 glue, y'all. Oh no, one makes two. Yeah, one makes two. Okay, cool. Let's grab 10 of those. Okay. And then we need, oh, I only grabbed five. Oh no, two, Brittany, two made one. Sheesh. All right. <laughs> uh, What else we need? We need, we got that. And then we just need some more plank. Let's get the planks. All right, that's enough. But let's clear this out. All right, craft. Get our extractor. Maybe set that like right here ish. All right, so actually, hold on. Let's do this first. Uh, is it these? Yeah, these two need to be done. I need to make another bee box. Yeah, I, I really need to do that. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's do these first, so that we can do them at the same time. All right. Grab my propolis. And now let's shift click into that one. And let's uh, see what we can get. Oh. Oh, this is taking a minute. Ooh, so we got swarm wart seeds. Be oh, it's just running on its own, y'all. Oh, because I spun it. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay, I'm I'm getting it now. I'm getting it. So we got sorry, I'm just clicking, y'all. So we got our wooden frames back. We got some beekeeper's delight seeds, some swarm wart seeds, because I guess that's what the bees were around. Except they weren't around swarm wart, so that's kind of weird, but whatever. Um, we got the bees wax, which is what we needed, some sticky pearl, and then some bee pollen. And we are filled up in here, honey. But let's just get three more in there. And let's get the spinner going a little bit more so it can keep going. Yep. And are we close enough? Yes, we are. To put two of these back in there. Okay. And then are we close? Nope, we're not close enough to this one. 
Wait. Yeah, there we are. There we go. Ah, we still didn't get one. Ah. A common verge queen. Just put her back in there. And see, you know what? I think that's what I was supposed to do, y'all. I think I've been supposed to. Oh my gosh. Y'all are going to be like, if y'all, when I edit the episode before this, I'm going to have to put a disclaimer in there. I figured out what I was doing wrong because I clearly wasted all that time. I was supposed to put her back in there to get, um, to try to get the B. Not the two Bs. Like this, I was just creating the queen, the combined queen, right? But no, that's a common verge queen. I want a common forest queen. No, get out. <laughs> Y'all, what am I doing? No, I'm right. Common. Hold on. Oh my gosh. It must be late. Yeah, common. That's what I want. I want a common forest queen. Okay. Yes, that's right. I was doing it right. Okay. Never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I was doing it right. So we will continue on our common. Um, give me a common B. We will continue on our journey to get our uh our B. Anyway, okay, extracting honey. Let's get our canister. Next, now we've got honey, we can start putting it it to good use and make some apicola. To get started, you'll need to craft a fermenter. This takes rainwater and honey and ferments it into apicola over time. Once we have our apicola, we buy a bottler from Skipper to bottle it up and sell it. You can also infuse your apicola with spices that give it a variety of special effects like increased speed, night vision, or even a headache the following day. Eh. Okay, so we make a fermenter and a bottler. Okay, and also tapping trees. Let's let's do this one. What's that brown and sticky? Oh, what's brown and sticky? Well, okay, yeah, I guess so. But I was thinking more about tree resin. Collecting resin from trees will let you infuse your wood to make it more versatile and last longer for beekeeping purposes. To get resin from a tree, you need to craft the tree tap. You can use the tree tap by equipping it and clicking on a tree with the mouse. So let's go ahead and make us a tree tap. And y'all... Disclaimer here, if I was playing this like a let, let's play style, I would not be going this fast. I like when I play my games, I like to go slow and, you know, establish myself. I'd probably have a house by now with, you know, with rooms, even though I ain't got much furniture. Like I would probably take it much slower work on my organization. But because this is a first look, a lot of times the first looks, I try to get as much as I can in it so you can see as much of the features of the game. Um, that I'm doing. So that's why things seem to be going kind of fast and crazy, um, but it wouldn't normally be like this likely. All right, so let's get some of this stuff out of here. Hello? Get all this stuff out of here. Uh, yeah, I can put that in there. Mm, that one. Oh. Oops. There we go. Okay. Ah, oh, that's not what to do. Oh, help me. All right. Now we're good. All right. So make one, make a tap. Now let's go claim our reward, which is a wooden canister. All right, so let's go tap a tree. Let's do, chop down this one and let's do this one right here. All right, so we got the tap on there, but I think you have to go in here and actually put the canister in it right here. And then it'll continue to tap and then fill that one up. And then we'll have this extra one here um, to be able to kind of swap it out. So yeah, so that's doing what it needs to do. Uh, let's go back to our book. 
And we're still working on crossbreeding, but let's do this one here. It rains, it pours. Don't you just love the rain? No? Well, bad news about this chapter, I'm afraid. As you might have realized, not all bees like the rain, but some bees love it. It's also a really useful source of water. If only we had a way to collect it though. Oh wait, we do. You can craft rain tanks to collect and store rainwater. Later on, when you're all stocked up on honey, we can combine the two and make some delicious apicola. The requirement is a barrel and we'll get two more canisters. So it hasn't rained since um we've started the game. So I don't know if we'll actually get to see it, but that's fine. All right, so for the barrel, we need 10 waterproofing. I think we made some waterproofing by accident, didn't we? Yeah. How do we make that again? Signs. Hmm. Lily pads. Okay. So. Two of these should be fine. Yeah, because now we have. Where'd it go? Four. Oh, eight up here. Yeah, I was like, where's the rest of it? Okay, so you have that. And so now we need our um saw bench. I just love this whole interface thing, y'all. Oh good. Um this. Let's get our wood. Three swipes should do it. Saving. Thank you. My game frozen? Hello? Sorry, y'all. My game, it, it literally was like it was frozen. Like, it wouldn't move for a second. All right. I want to put all this back in there. Okay. A uh, barrel. Cool. Let's put the barrel out. Maybe over here. We can leave it there. Because we can't really do anything with it until it rains. So can't guarantee we'll get to see that. Let's claim our two. Alright, so do we want to do this one? Now you've been tapping these trees, you probably want to start collecting the resin somewhere. You can craft canisters using waterproof, which you can make from the lily pads that grow in the shallows. Canisters are portable, but can only hold a small amount of liquids. Barrels can, can't be moved, but can hold much larger quantities. Be careful with your hammers, though. A broken barrel will spill your precious fluids everywhere. Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay. So, okay. I'm getting it. So what they're saying is, that was a rain tank. So you make one one of these. I don't know if we have enough lily pad to get more, but I guess we'll find out. Might have to go lily padding. All right, so grab. Oh, whatever you put in this first slot is the preview slot. The item in this slot will be shown above the crate when hover. Okay, you know, I saw that little eye, but I wasn't really paying attention. I really wasn't. We only have two lily pads left. That's not enough. That is not enough. Oh, it is. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, barrel. Craft. So what they're saying is if we take this barrel and put it like let me just put it up here. Right? What we can do is is this tap done? No. So what we can do is when this tap is done we can take it and then put it in that barrel. So how about we actually make, I'm so tempted to like do things, but I'm like, no, Brittany, keep going. Keep going. Uh, okay, saw bench. So we're running low on wood, y'all. We've been doing, oh, got more wood right here. Oh, and more right here. Shoot, I thought we was running low. We good. Let's get all right. So 
that's fine. And then get some sticks. Cool, cool. Okay. One more tap. And then put that one on this tree down here. And then we can open that tap and then put another canister in there. So now we kind of have like two going. This one and that one. Oh, they have health. Hmm. Five out of five. Oh, the tree has health. I wonder why that tree has health of four and that one has health of five. And up. Oh tree fully drained so we didn't even fill it the canister only has 190 out of 400 so can i take the tabs off so hold on can i use my hammer zero to get the tap off? Tree fully drained. I get that, but I wanna, let's try chopping the tree and seeing if I get um my tap back. Nope. So you completely lose your tap when a tree is drained. Okay, well, that's good to know. All right, so let's just test this out. So here's the barrel, right? It can hold 2,000. So if I take this canister and put it here, see, it's draining all of the resin into the tree and now I get the canister back. So it's a good way to not have to make too many canisters. All right, let's check our bees. Oh my gosh, still nothing. What are y'all doing to me? Verge forest. Y'all are not, am I doing this wrong? Common forest bee. Y'all, hold on. Crossbreed a common and a forest bee together into a common forest queen and see if you can get, okay. So yeah, I'm not, I'm doing it right. So now we got a common forest and a forest common. <laughs> Ah, but not the one that we need. Hello. All right, let's just take, let's take these. Forest queen. See, that ain't gonna work. So when we did, you know what? I think the problem is when I put a common and a forest bee in here, I need to make sure it's a common forest queen. Common verge queen. Common forest queen. Okay, so that is a common forest queen. This one was just a common, um, was just a forest queen. And that's, an, I don't want that. I don't want that. So let's do common. Forest common. Shoot, I need more forest bees, don't I? Hmm. Well, one down here. Uh, forest bees. Put two of you in there, but then I need to grab one of you. All right, real quick. Let's do... The extractor. I can get these out. One more or two more. Okay. Uh, get those out and then one, two, three. Okay. And then the extractor. And then we can start putting um these back in the apiaries.
There we go. Let's want it one in there. All right. Now let's see what this one makes. That's a common forest. Okay. So that works. Common. Okay. So now both apiaries have a common um have a common forest. Why is it filled already? Sheesh. Yeah, I just put this in there. Goodness gracious. Grab all this. Go ahead, finish doing your do. And then, um, that's not my house. <laughs> Let's open that one and uh, get those two in there. Last one, all right. And then let's get you in here. I feel like I could do that one now too. It's probably gonna break. I think it's probably done for by the time we're done extracting it. All right, she needs one. There you go. All right, so you have one. Fish, the bees are sleeping. All right, I'll give you one. Then I need a place for all this bee stuff. I put it in here, like these seeds. Like flowers and bee, um, flower seeds and bee produce, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. Keep this just materials. Finish that. All right, let's put that in there. And they're sleeping, so not doing anything right now. All right. Uh, and let's put all that in there. Cool. Can I make... Oh, the tree tap is done. I'll deal with that in a second. Can I make another bee box? Mm, probably. I need some honeycomb. Please and thank you. Keep on going, folks. Keep on going. Okay, it should be enough. All right, uh, we need a apiary. Ooh, not enough. Okay, so we need 10 plus one, so 11. Okay. Why do I do that? There we go. Now we have enough. Oh, wait. You going okay so that's fine let's now do saw bench and we need more of these boom boom and then we need a large crate all right so we need more of those i cannot wait till we get the automatic saw thing so we only need to do this manually this is out of control. <laughs> All right, so we just need 10. All right. Now back to bees. Uh, bee box, here we go, craft, okay. Cool. All right, let's do, these are, I think these need this extractor. Yep. Get that going. And then we can at least put those two back in um, the thing. Yep. Take them. 
close that and then target this box and put all that stuff in that box. All right. Oh, we can get Tiny out of here. I didn't even see that. Click. Yes, fill it up. We go put it in the barrel. I'm not one even paying attention. Do 80. Okay. Thank you. All right, so let's head over here. Let's dump the honey. Oh, no, this is honey. That's resin. Oh, so you know what? I'll need a second barrel to have honey in. Mm, okay. I got you. All right, so let's give you a third one. And then you a third one. So common forest. Common forest. Give me the stinking bee that I need. Please. Please. All right, so you're good. You have a B I can take. And you have a B I can take. And you have honeycombs I can take. Okay, a B box. Put the second one down. And so now I can start putting, I honestly, I want to put the verge bees in here because I have more, um, Jagon Verge Bees. Forest Common Bee. Oh, what's going on here? You can't add this. Okay, yeah. Forest Queen. Oh, I tried to add a Forest Queen. Oops. Sorry. I oh, really, really only had two, two Verges. I thought I had more than that. No, I had three Verges. Okay, whatever. Uh, what was I doing here? Oh, coming over here and then adding, um, okay. So the common verge queen can go in here because it's common. That makes sense. And then my common forest beacon. Yep. My common forest beacon go in there. But can my forest be? Nope. So it has to be like, so like my forest bee box will be able to put the common or forest common bee in. Okay. Makes sense. I like this. I like having little uh, bee boxes like that. All right. Um, Let's walk around a little bit. See if anybody got anything to say. No. Nana ain't got nothing to say. That's fine. Let's grab some lily pads. Never know we need to make some more propolis. Got some more flowers. Is there anything over here? Is that our house? Oh. Y'all, is this just like a random house with a with some storage? Does someone live here? I don't know, but we got some more forest bees. I'll take them. We running low on the forest bees. All right, can't go around that way. That's fine. Got some more forest bees coming up. This map is rather big, especially knowing that we can actually go to other areas. Kind of wild. I think that's enough bees. Yeah, this is so big. It, it's it's still going. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is huge. Honestly, I would like to just come over here and take like like, you know, like during a normal play for myself, I would just come over there and like take up this whole island or something and just make it my island. Whose house is this? It's a random house with missing floors. What's in here? Ooh, we got some goodies. Don't mind if I do. Well, I, don't, I actually don't need that. Don't mind if I do. Oh, wait. We got some taps too? Why, thank you. 
dilapidated house. Anything else? Any other goodies? No, looks like that's it. Okay. Well, that was interesting. A honeydew tree. Uh, is that what all the trees are? It sure is. And I'm over here um, not knowing. All right, let's get back. Oh gosh, help me. All right, so we are back and let's see y'all, fingers crossed. Common, forest, forest common. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I have to be doing something wrong. There's just no way. There's no way. Why? Oh, you know what? I should have been using the predictor. I totally forgot about that. Totally forgot. I overlooked it. I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. Have mercy. Predictor. Oh my goodness. I need some common bees. Give me some common bees. All right, common. Oh, it has to be a queen. Oh. Let me closer. There we go. Wait, let me let her go first. Just in case. Since it's so close. Oh, no, you're not done. Never mind. I'm taking you. So, common forest queen, undiscovered. Yeah, so, common forest, that's what we want, or a forest common. So, we can use a common forest or a forest common then, likely. Hmm. So... I know I'm cheating going from over here. So common forest. And your common forest, blessed be. So yeah, so we're not doing too bad then. It doesn't tell me, like it it gives me the the um the chances, but we knew that already. So yeah. Well, that's disappointing. It is, y'all. Anyway, all right. Uh, what are we doing? We're still waiting on that. Um, we did this. Oh, goody. We got another barrel. So now we can put maybe the second barrel here and then put the honey in that one. Yep. So now we have a honey barrel and a resin barrel. Cool. All right. Let's, um, put these bees away. Forest, four. So now we need another uh, bee box. Now we have a lot. All right, so honey. We have five honey. I have six honey. Forest, forest. Yep. So. Got that. Star bench. And you. All right. So what do we need? We need. We don't need sticks. Take that out. But we do need more of these. All right. So we got that. And then. This. So we need nine more sticks, but we need more of these. Mm, that should do it. All 
two, four, six. Oh, wait. 17 sticks. Where are these sticks it's saying I had? Oh, in here. I didn't know I had sticks in there. Oops. I didn't know. I didn't know. All right, so now we need. Oh, I use it on my girl. Girl. Honey, I need honey. Put you in there. Okay. B box. Thank you. You you are dismissed. All of you. Okay. <laughs> Let's head up here and get our last B box going. And then now let's get all of our forest bees in there. And I believe there was oh, a rocky bee. Yeah, we haven't we haven't done anything with that. Okay. All right, what'd you do? Ah, uh, did we do it? Crossbreeding. Did we do it? Verdant B. We did it? Why is this the... New discovery, finally. But that was weird, y'all. Y'all saw it was blank, right? I think that was a glitch. It, I think it should have had a B uh, picture in there. New discovery. Okay. Learn more. See, now the bee's in my hand. So yeah, I think that was um a glitch just now. But now we have a tier two bee, a verdant bee. The verdant bee was first domesticated, was the first domesticated bee species in the archipelago. Breeding the verdant bee is a common rite of passage for many new beekeepers starting their apiculture journey. Okay. Ooh, and it looks like they might give you shiny pearls um, when you use them on the, the extractor. Cool. And so they breed with a vibrant bee and a drowsy bee to get something. Okay. Cool. So now we have a verdant bee. Finally. I mean, we have verdant bees, like these these blue ones, I think, are verdant bees, but we just hadn't um discovered how to breed them yet. So that that's what the problem was. Okay. Cool. Oh, finally. Oh my goodness. That was that seemed like it took forever. And now we'll get two of these uh wooden frames. Cool. All right, y'all, I think I'm going to end this here. I mean, I don't want to pretty much play the whole daggone game. It's supposed to be a first look, even though I could keep going. But um, so we've unlocked the Rehabilitate. It says when you discover a new species, you'll notice their conservation status is in, is in the almanac is lost. As you breed more of that species, you can release some of them into the wild with the Rehabilitator. Okay. That's cool. So it says releasing bees adds to their conservation status going from lost all the way to thriving. Conserving a species is its own reward, but you might make a name for yourself if you do. Okay, so you can work on doing that. Um, We did these two already. So yeah, make an apicola you can do, teach you how to make some money. I think microscope, it might talk about how you see, like use a microscope to maybe see other features of the bees. No idea what smoky eyes or climate controls about. Hold infusion. Um, inf oh, infusing your wood to make a, a more versatile wood. Upgrade. Don't know what that is. I know you can make more machines that are a little bit, you know, more automated. So that's nice. Um, give me space, whatever that is. It's under exploration. Set sails. So I guess there's more areas to get more bees. That swamp thing, the ice bee cometh, blessed bee, and then forgotten path. So there's a lot more. There is a lot more. Like even though it seems like we got through a lot of these, there's still just a lot more in the game that we just haven't touched. You know, I think a lot of these were very quick. Like these first few were very quick to go through, like introductory. And then this was just really around controls and tips. And then um, you know, we learned how to 
you know, find the bees, breed the bees, um, you know, get the extracts from the bees, you know. So all that stuff was kind of, to me, like basics. And then once you, um, you know, get further in the game, it'll probably get a little bit more complex. But yeah, I I love this, y'all. This, this is going to be the last um, episode of the first look. I think we've covered enough, but I enjoyed this. I cannot wait for them to come to Switch. Um, I might dibble and dabble here on computer, but I have a lot more games to get to. So probably not right now. Um, but once it does come to console, um, like if it comes to Xbox, probably definitely. And then Switch, definitely. PS4, not sure. But I think they said they're going to do all three um, at the same time, if I remember correctly. Um, but anyway, all right, y'all. Well, I do hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please get a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. If you like to see more, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.